Hey, this is Tyler with Diesel Geek, and today's video is going to outline how to install the metal side to side reduction bracket for 2008 in newer Volkswagen six speed transmissions. The first step before we do the install is going to be to remove the factory plastic bell crank. Um, the factory plastic bell crank is attached to the cable end with this post and this tiny little plastic nub right there. The easiest way to get that off is to take a flat blade screwdriver and insert it between the center of the bushing and the bell crank and just give it a twist. You'll see it'll start sliding like that. Just go ahead and take your cable end off here. Wiggle and twist. Next, you'll have this post slid through this tube secured by this little plastic guy here. The plastic guy has two little catches and you just spread them and lift up. Once that's off, then this will slide on out of the tube and out of the way. The next step is gonna to be to remove the cable end by pulling the collar down and twisting. It'll stay locked. And Jim has another video where he outlines how to remove this factory rubber bushing and install our precision machined perfect pivot bushings in its place, which eliminate a lot of the slop from the factory linkage. Next, we'll take our assembled side to side reduction bracket with one bushing here and we'll install it. We'll actually have to move the transmission into third, I think in order to swing the counterweight out of the way. And we just bring this down low, swing it here, and then on in. We'll install our bushing here. And we'll secure it with our shiny metal clip. From there, we can take our modified cable end, open it like so, slide it on, and then bring it over the nose of our cable end pin. What I'm having to do here is, is actually back this bell crank back out so that I can get this to slide straight on and slide those pieces in together. Next, we can put the transmission back in neutral, open the other cable end, and we'll go inside the car to pin the shifter. To pin the shifter, we're gonna use our five millimeter adjustment pin and just insert it through both loops in the box there. And you really want this thing to go down as far as it'll go. That's fully inserted. And that locks the, sh the cabin shifter into the home position. Next, we'll go back to the engine compartment. Make sure that the transmission's in neutral because the counterweight can move up and down. And we'll just push down ever so slightly and then push in on the locking lever and give it a little bit of a rotate upwards. And you'll see that this won't rotate anymore. It also won't move up and down. Be gentle with that pin. They're fairly easy to break. Next, to set the adjustment, we'll just push down gently on the front to back. Give this a little bit of a wiggle and a twist. Allow it to spring back. And we'll do the same thing with the front to back cable end. From there, we can unlock our adjustment pin, push down, rotate, and pull out. Go inside the car, remove the pin, and check to make sure we can get all the gears. So that's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. 
in reverse. That's about it. Thanks.